My name is Lisa Lugo. I am a deportation officer here at the Prairie Land Detention Center located in Alvarado, Texas. An average day for me here in Alvarado, Texas basically involves me coming in bright and early at 6 a.m. I come to my desk and turn on uh, all my emails and programs and basically start looking at my to-dos for the day. I handle a detained docket that specializes in Europe, Asia, and Pacific. So it's a very intricate and very unique type of detained docket. I work closely with the embassies and or consulates to try and obtain travel documents for detainees who actually have final orders from an immigration judge. When I first started in the government, I became a special agent for customs in 2003. I then became a special agent for Tucson, Arizona, working now under the name of Homeland Security Investigations, where I not only dealt with drug smuggling cases, but also brought in my knowledge into the human smuggling world. Um, in 2015, my husband got promoted to Dallas, Texas uh, area, and at the time, the only position available to me to take was as a mission support specialist. I had an opportunity to get back into my law enforcement career and I got hired by Enforcement and Removal Operations. So now I am deportation officer assigned to Prairie Land Detention Center. I think that all of those positions have made me a very well-rounded individual. I have knowledge as a criminal investigator and I transitioned over to the administrative side of the house, but I did miss my career as a law enforcement officer and so when I was given the opportunity to come back as a deportation officer, I jumped on board on that pretty quick. I'm also an active peer support member for ICE. The peer support program is just that, it's a peer. We make ourselves available to each other, our ICE family. I recently got sent out on a deployment to Puerto Rico during the hurricane that hit. There was a high need for peer support for ICE employees that were affected on the island. Whether it was from welfare checks, whether it was from bringing out food and water to a much needed community, uh, or just being there, like I said, to have that open ear for someone to talk to. I would recommend a career with ICE because there are many aspects that someone can actually get involved with. Where you are securing our borders to uh, becoming a special agent and investigating criminals to being an administrative staff to support the mission of ICE and to actually getting into the position of removing illegal aliens from this country. You have it all. I've done it all, actually. So. There's a lot to offer with ICE depending on what career path you choose.